Hey everyone, Gratuitous here, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about split by channel. We are gonna be building off of the last tutorial where I was talking to you about how to duplicate a pattern to give freshness to your listeners' ears and to give your arrangements the absolute most flexibility. Before getting into the video, if you guys would like to learn FL Studio, check out my free book called Five Keys to a Successful Beat. So simple it becomes creative. Get it by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys. All right, so again, building off of the last tutorial, which was about duplicating patterns in FL Studio, you guys can just check my YouTube channel for that. Um, and I was talking about how to duplicate the pattern to spice up the arrangement of your song. All right, it's always about keeping it fresh for your listeners' ears, otherwise your loops are super repetitive and you want to turn those loops into sounding really catchy so that the listener can't wait for the loop to come back. All right, to learn more about that, you can also check out my book. It's called Audio Painting and that is all about preparing the listener. So you can see, you can click right here and uh, split by channel is what we want to do. Split by channel allows you to separate all of these sounds into their own pattern. And I talked in the previous tutorial that if all of your sounds are in one pattern, so for example, we have drum loop one, we have drum loop two, you can see I've added in some notes from drum loop one. So this is, so again, you can look right up here as well. So drum loop one versus drum loop two, that's how it looks. I added in some hi-hats. Um, Okay, and we're gonna go to pat uh, drum loop three. You can see that I've removed the drum, added in some more stuff. So this allowed our drum loop to be fresher from our listener's point of view. But now uh, when I went split by channel, you can see that now it put each sound into its own pattern. And so if I wanna use these sounds, so as you can see, it's highlighted or it's um, kind of like overlapped them. So I'm just gonna highlight then press delete or we'll just get rid of all of them. So if I wanna add those back in, we have our drums. Again, I'm using the number pad. Here is our uh, snares, I, I believe, or no, uh, that's another kick, sorry. So we come here, here's our snares. I'll use alt and the scroll wheel to bring this smaller. And then here's some hi-hats and that's it from our sound. So what I would do is I'd grab these, hold on shift, click. So now we'd have to go in here. I'd have to go like uh, drums one, okay? Cause I know that's drums one. Uh, this is drums two. And then um, here we'll go snare, uh, one but snare will be like the full thing so i'm not i don't actually know it snares did change snares changed in drum loop three so as you can see when you split by channel and you have programmed your drum loop and you went make unique like the way how i explained it it makes the split by channel quite cumbersome to just get organized because let's just remove these for a second okay so if i was going to be building out my beat this gives my arrangement the ultimate flexibility i can say hey let's remove these drums let's remove these hi-hats and right now this is what our track would be but all of a sudden it's like now the chorus comes in okay so this is where we get full flexibility over our arrangement. Let's add back in um, all of our different sounds here. So again, I'm going to go hi-hat one, and then we will go hi-hat two. So here we have hi-hat two, click here, hi-hat two stayed the same, hi-hat two stayed the same, okay? So that's just one thing to know that I can just put this all the way across. It saves us from having to create a new pattern for this hi-hat. In this case, you can see that hi-hat one did change and it was just mainly that one note right there, okay? That's the only thing that changed. We are going to go split by channel. Let's just remove all these. We'll add this one in here. Now I'm gonna use the plus on my number pad to go to the next pattern, go to the next pattern and next pattern and then it should be uh, these hi-hats, which I do not need because I know that hi-hat two stayed the same. So to delete that pattern, we can just go delete, okay? The shortcut was shift, control, delete. What I'm trying to get to, across to you guys is many times if I were to build a drum loop, and let's just focus uh, on this right here. When I was going through this and we went right click and we went make unique, we went into here and let's say we just, I'm just gonna do this just so it's really clear to see. So we can see from drum loop three to drum loop three, number two, you can see that it's very different, just the drums, right? But what's happening here is it's making it much harder if we split by channel, because what we wanna do is we want full flexibility over our arrangement. It's easier to make the drum loop. It's much harder to break apart if that makes sense. So you just gotta figure out what your workflow is. Sometimes it's easier just to build your drum loop just uh, just like in singles like this. Uh, sometimes you can build it all in one. Then what you can do is you can go split by channel 
And then if you just want to mix up just the drums or just the claps or whatever, then you can do that on an individual basis and it would save you a lot of time. Okay, so let's go back to here and I'll finish off with the drum loop three. We're going to come up here. We're going to go split by channel and um, we can see that I am right now. I am on drum loop three. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this. We're going to get rid of all that. So I'll add in the drums, which was a little bit different because remember we on that on that one, I pulled away the drum. So it kind of gave it like an empty feel, which is a, a different kind of style for the beat. Here is the drum. Here is the snares. I uh, added two extra snares in there. Here are the hi-hats. And then again, this one. So that one was uh, shift or control shift delete. And again, right there, there's the keyboard shortcut. So once you learn this fast workflow, I'm telling you, you can have full control over your patterns and flow off of the number pad like I always try to explain, okay? So let me just quickly organize this with you. And so in this case, I'm gonna go drums one, two, okay? And then we will go uh, drums one, three. And I will go, uh, let's just give it just a color. So here's this color. We'll go that same pink. We'll go a little darker. Okay. We'll come here and, um, oops. And uh, I will go F3 and we'll just go even darker. Let's see here. Okay. So it's a little bit different. Uh, usually I just like it so that when you can visually see quick, so we know that these are all three different patterns. All right, so I'm gonna leave it right there because otherwise the video is gonna keep going on, but all I'm doing is just, as you can see, this snare right here is the same. So this snare could be the same. This one would be a snare 1-2, or you can even go like number two, whatever you wanna do there. Um, and watch if I go like orange. Okay, so we know that these snares all stay the same. This snare here is changing up and let's just go look a little bit darker. Okay, maybe in that case brighter. So like, I don't like to waste tons of time here. I like to be super quick, but you can see that the difference right there between the dark to the bright, to me, the brighter was just like, it pops a lot more. And sometimes just that little difference, because once the song starts getting made and it starts growing, you can see from far out, you're like, okay, well this one right here, I know that that is the snare that has those extra hits, right? But listen to it. Um, but anyway, so that is how you can break apart your patterns, use split by channel. Um, the biggest thing I can tell you guys is think ahead when it comes to this. As you can see, doing it this way, it would took a long time to organize. Whereas if you just made one drum loop and then you broke it apart right away, then if you wanted to spice up the drums or spice up the claps, that would be way faster, okay? All right, so that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me over at itsgratuitous.com. I'm a recognized FL Studio trainer. I'm here to help you learn to make beats, keep things simple, stay organized, and at the end of the day, always have fun and save money and get high quality results. Don't forget to check out my free FL Studio podcast by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash podcast. It is called Music Production Made Simple. I'll talk to you in the next tutorial. If you ever have questions, you guys can leave comments below. I read them, I try to get back to you. Check me out over at itsgratuitous.com.